One of the issues that we have to manage at different times of the year is the presence of suspended particles in the water column. Now those small particles might take the form of suspended sediment after a heavy rainfall, or maybe an algae bloom when the water temperatures are high late in the summer. But today, those small particles are tree pollen. High frequency imaging techniques, especially mega side imaging and down imaging, are particularly sensitive to these small particles. The impact that you'll see on your fish finder is that the water column area in both side imaging and down imaging will become washed out and full of noise and clutter. I want to show you two different strategies you can use to address this situation and get back to the kind of performance you expect from your hummingbird fish finder. Now one thing you can do is to change the frequency that you transmit for side imaging or down imaging. In general terms, as our imaging frequency increases, the sensitivity of that particular frequency to these small particles also increases. That relationship means that if we lower our imaging frequency, we should experience less noise and clutter from these small particles. So, one thing you can do is to switch from the mega imaging frequency down to the classic 455 kilohertz frequency for side imaging or down imaging. When you make that frequency switch, you'll definitely experience less noise and clutter in your water column from these small particles. Now there's another way to deal with this situation if you want to stick with the mega imaging frequency, and that is to use the water column sensitivity feature. Water column sensitivity is a great way to deal with unproductive noise and clutter in the water column areas of side imaging and down imaging. Depending on the amount of these small particles you're dealing with, Reducing your water column sensitivity to minus one or perhaps minus two should virtually eliminate all of that noise and clutter in the water column area. Those two adjustments can have a dramatic impact on the clarity of the water column areas of your side imaging and down imaging views. Give them a try if a lot of sediment, algae, or pollen are in the water on your next trip.